urge the federal government, particularly the Ministry of Transport and Relevant Security Agency, to ensure that the perpetrators, including the saboteurs, are charged for economic sabotage with maximum punishment without option of fine. Two, urge the relevant authority, including the Nigerian Railway Corporation, to engage the services of local security guard along all the rail lines in the country. Mandate the Committee on Police Affairs to liaise with the hierarchy of Nigerian Police Force and the National Security Civil Defense Corps to work out modality towards regular patrol and surveillance of the, of the rail track within the country. I so move, Mr. President. It is very heart rendering to see all these pictures on social media. In a country where we've been crying for uh, infrastructural development, to now find out that the country was able to put rail lines and some people will go and vandalize them. In fact, Mr. President, the most heart-rendering problem in this is that most of the people that were photographed on social media are in their early 40s. 20s, 30s, and 40s. The people who will need this in the future. They want to remove the future from now. And that is why I just rise to support this motion and to say there has to be capital punishment attached to this because these are national monuments. We cannot allow people who don't think about the future to come and destroy the future for our children and their children. And that is why, Mr. President, something drastic has to be done about it. We have got to police all the trucks. We've got to pick all the people that have done this, prosecute them, and make sure they are punished effectively. Somebody will just go and start taking away the truck of the railway line. I think it's tantamount to a murder. Because these people are doing it to kill others. And therefore, if there is a way we can employ even capital punishment for these people, I think, the better. Because if we don't do that, at the end of the day, we will lose precious lives. No matter how much we spend on our roads, if our railway lines are bad, our roads will not have long span. That the lifespan of the roads will not last for more than two, three years, no matter how much we spend. But if we re rehabilitate and modernize our railways, we will be able to increase the lifespan of our roads. So we should take this issue very seriously. If the existing laws are not enough to give enough punishment to these criminals, we should amend the existing law so that uh, capital punishment will be imposed on those that vandalize our rail lines. Mr. President, this is criminal and we should take it very seriously. It is more than economic sabotage because uh, they are killing our people. Uh, recently, they vandalized the Kaduna uh, Abuja, uh, Abuja rail, 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 rail line, apart from that of Lagos, Ibadan, and uh, Wali Itakwe. So, uh, huge chunks of money were borrowed from China, were not even started paying. And these vandals are now going all out to destroy this infrastructure. This is criminal. In fact, uh, I don't know what economic sabotage is if this is not one. And um, we must take interest on what happens with those that were caught. We need to, to follow the, 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 the trial or the prosecution because there must be a very good example of punishment on people that give, uh, give us this kind of trouble in the country. Just like Senator Alor said, we borrowed money from China to construct these rail lines in order to uh, increase the level of infrastructure in the country. And then some, some people will just go behind and start stealing this, going out to sell them maybe for, God knows, something very little against the national interest. So we must be interested in what happens to these people because our courts also have problems. Maybe after the hue and cry, then the case will just be there for the next two, three years, and therefore there will be no visible example of what happens to someone who does 
or in, engages in this kind of activity, but there must be a visible example 